Hey everyone, it's Simplicity, and welcome back to a new video. So today, we are doing something that I have never done on my channel. So, right now, we have the Sims Resource Workshop open, which I will have a link for in the description. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create photos in-game. So, right now, I'm just hopping into Objects. Actually, really quickly, I should show you guys. You have to go in here and, like, do your preferences. Um... I think it's under folders, yeah. So it's under folders, you just have to have, make sure that your game is connected so that it knows that you have the game. And then I'm going to go back into here for objects. I'm going to click on decor, go to paintings and posters and let these kind of load up here. I've only been doing this for a few days, so I'm still very new to this at the point that I'm filming. But hopefully it can teach some of you because I've been wanting to do this for a while um, and I feel like this is a good time for me to do so but I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm gonna do this one here the painting mission two by one yeah uh, so I'm just gonna quickly just type in here Butler family photos and then I'm just gonna do the same thing here as well and then the description um, I'm just going to, you know, Butler Family Photos by Simplicity. I'm going to ignore this part that says Yes Clone. Hit Next and hit OK. And then it loads up the mesh. So here we are. Um, so as you can see, it just kind of opens up the photo here. So I'm going to go into Textures. We're going to go to... I'm checking the stencils first because apparently they can sometimes get clicked. But it looks like it's alright. So I'm going to go to overlay, click edit, and then I'm going to hit export. You guys can see here it's down there. But I'm going to go ahead and hit export and just save this to my downloads for now. There we go. And Okay, so I just went ahead and hopped over here to Photopea, but you can also use a Photoshop. This is just what I'm going ahead and doing. So I'm going to open up my screenshots, which I showed how I do this in my thumbnail video so if you guys are interested I'll have that linked and then I'm also going to open up this here as well so this is what we just exported from the, uh, the Sims resource workshop but I'm gonna go ahead and just quickly crop my photos here so here's two of my sims that you guys have yet to well the one you've seen I think I'm not sure but all right I'm just gonna make sure that I can crop all of these this one I'm going to crop as well. That one with the four of them, I can't. But we will do it like that. There we go. But yeah, I can't really crop this one. It doesn't really work. So now, I'm going to come on over here and go to this little tool. I think it's like the select tool or something. I never know the names of them. Um, and just try and get as close as I possibly can to the black border here without getting rid of the little brown okay so I just went ahead and deleted that out of here so now I'm gonna go ahead and pop into my picture here I'm gonna switch over my image size so for this one I'm gonna go make sure this isn't linked but I'm gonna do we'll do fully 26 by 266.15 so now it looks like it's really tiny, but it works. I'm going to go to select all, hit copy, and then I'm just going to paste this picture in here. I'm going to hit free transform, and then put it exactly where the photo was before with the same orientation. So I'm going to turn this sideways because my photo was facing this way before. This part, you have to make sure that it's straight, which is probably where... I kind of struggle the most with just having it on fully transform, but, um, okay, so I'm, like, focused here to make sure that I can get it straight, but I don't know if I took the photo straight now that I'm actually looking at it, but, okay, I think that should work. So, now I'm just going to 
move that behind the background, and then export it as a PNG photo. And then it just saves to my computer. Um, that can go away. I really don't care. Okay. So now I'm literally just going to do the exact same thing. Now, for the uh, Photoshop users, you're going to want to flatten your image. I didn't when I did that last one because if I flatten it, then it messes up the transparency when it comes to uh, like being able to change the frames and such. So like if I was to hit flatten image, it wouldn't work for me. It would literally just make the frame of the photos white. And I obviously I don't want that. I still want it to be really colorable. So photo P is why I didn't do that. But I'm just going to resize these photos here as well to the same size that I used before. 326 by 266. But um yeah, so if you're using photo P, which is free, it's online, you can go ahead and just don't flatten it down, just make sure it's behind the key, I guess, background sort of thing. But, alright, so I'm going to come over here and delete this layer, and we're just going to repeat the same process. So I'm going to hit paste, because I already copied it, hit free transform, and then move this down here. Okay, just place this in here, make sure that it fits properly. Actually, I think this one was easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and then I'm just going to move that back as well. And then we'll go ahead and export as a PNG file. Close, delete this. And then one more for the last picture because I want to show you how to do it where you can have like different pictures per swatch kind of thing. So that's why I'm doing three, but obviously you don't have to. So again, I'm just going to repeat the same process here and try and line this up to the best of my abilities in this little space down here. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not covering anything. Um, I need to fix this a little. There we go. I think that should be good. I know it's not perfectly straight, so I'm going to try and fix that here, or I could just expand a little bit, and then we'll see if I can fix my rotation. Okay, so only if you can hear the dog, I apologize for that. But okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and export this as a PNG as well, and then we're going to hop back over here to the Sims Resource Workshop. I'm going to go ahead and hit import this time. I'm going to change this over to PNG and click on this and then just hit continue and hit done. So there we go. So now you can see that the picture has been replaced and now I have this one here instead. You can kind of preview it. And then I'm going to switch over here to another one which you guys saw I just clicked on painting mission 2 by one and then I'm just going to repeat the same process. There we go. Okay, so this is what that one's looking like, and then switch it over one more time. And we'll go ahead and hit import again and put in the last picture here. Hit done. There we go. Nice and simple. And then this last one here, I'm going to go ahead and delete by clicking this little down arrow here and delete this one, just so I don't have the extra swatch. So here is what this looks like. So here we have Francesca and Camilla. But I'm going to actually go ahead and change my wood color for the swat base swatch because you can actually do that on here as well, which is quite nice. Um, I'm just going to see if I can find something I like. I feel like that's pretty good. So I want to show you guys how to do something else while I'm doing this as well. So I'm going to export this and I'm just going to name it like pattern for video. There we go. So I just hit the little arrow. So here is a preview of what that looks like. And then I can go ahead and hop on over here, hit edit and hit import, which is the green arrow. And then click on this, hit done. And I can have all of my frames the same color, which is great. But I will also show you in game that you can still customize it with the color wheel as well.
but I'm just gonna, just for the sake of this video, just do it on all three. So there we go. Nice and simple. Um, so I'm gonna go over here. I'm going to go to export to Sims 3 pack. And I'll just name this like Butley, Butley Family for video because I've done this a few times. Hit OK. And then I'm going to install it like I normally would. Alright, so we are back in game. I just opened up my current household here. So, I'm going to put these in here because I figured this is going to be a good space to do this on. So I'm going to go into decor. I'm going to head over to the photo section and we're going to just kind of wait for everything to load up and I also have to pay attention because I have to look for them um okay all right is this about the family photos that's not it that's when I did the other day when I didn't really name them they should be here. And I'll show you a few of the different ones that I did as well. They all have the same pictures, but... Um... So, like, these were my first attempts. And then... We have these ones here, which are just bigger. But I think... No, I think it's this one. Pretty sure this is the one that I just did. So, here is what it's going to look like in-game. So you guys can see that they have just some nice little photos. It does come out a little bit pixelated, but that doesn't bother me any. And then I can go ahead and show you that you can really color the frame. So you're not stuck with just one tone. And you can click up here and the photo will change, which obviously it's going to come out blurry there. If I hit OK, then it kind of like isn't as blurry, which is nice. But that doesn't really bother me all too much. Like you guys can see, like that's blurry. If I click, it's not as blurry. So I'm still learning. I haven't perfected everything on how to get it to not be blurry. But I feel like it totally depends on the image size. So like this was my first attempt. You guys can see the flames are white and not good. And like I was still kind of learning. And like I can't change the flame color on those so I need to honestly remove these ones out of my game but I'm just going to show you that I have improved even over just a small amount of time um actually I have some cute ones that I did on a poster of the girls it might be in here um well what's that here so this one, I messed up and the flame is like just stuck on white instead of it being a wood flame. But it's really cute and I feel like the quality is better on this one because it worked better for the photo than the flame, other flames. So there's like a comparison. So I need to honestly like fix that one. But uh, if I go back to the first one here, you guys can just see a side by side. So that's the difference here. But... Honestly, I feel like it still worked kind of nicely, and I don't mind having just a pure white flame. It's completely up to you, really, but I'd prefer that it's, like, colorable and not me just having it stuck. But again, that was the trial and error. Um, I also have... I need to, like... Okay. I'm just going to turn move objects on so because I can't... Really, that's fine. I also have this one here, which I really like this flame. And I feel like it kind of works a little bit better for bigger photos. But again, you guys can see that it is still a little bit pixelated with the photos. But you guys can do this with, like, anything. It doesn't just have to be in-game screenshots. You can also use, like, random photos off of Google or whatever. It's the same process. But they're pretty cute. I really can't complain about them all too much. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you an idea of how to make your own photos in-game. Um, I'm still going to try and perfect it, but for now, I feel like that's pretty good. But I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this video up here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you can go ahead and hit that like button down below. If you want to see some more videos from me, you can subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, typically. Although, this week is the beginning of Spam Week, which is super exciting whenever you are all seeing this. But, uh, yeah, I will see you all in my very next video. Bye, lovelies.